my whole life story, I see that I'm really proud of myself. And sometimes when I think about certain things that I had to go through, it makes me angry and it makes me not want to forgive people. But I realize that in order to succeed and to be a better person that I'm going to have to not be angry with the things I've had to go through and I'm going to have to eventually forgive people. But in the end, even in life's like deepest struggles, you can always come out with a positive side on it. Well, when I was young, uh, I remember having a big family of uh, six siblings and two parents. And when I went to school, I never saw anything different because my parents' room was so far away from mine. Not all the time were we the happy family. Not There were so many secrets hidden in the house and hidden in my parents' room that I never know and I still won't know. I've moved uh, six times in seven years. I've gone to six different schools and um, when I was in elementary and junior high moving to different schools wasn't that hard because I was much younger and it's easier to make friends and I didn't really understand what was going on. I thought it was a normal thing. It was just me and my mom towards the end and we'd fight and bicker all the time about things and school was somewhere that I was happy. It was where I had friends. I was able to have peace, just a break and I was involved. School was basically my life. <laughs> it was better than being at home. My sophomore year, I had made friends. I had made dreams and aspirations that I was going to do at that school. And I was going to graduate with people I had known for a while. And just to leave after my mom picks a man over me, it was definitely hard because the school that I moved to was so different. The most difficult time for me would definitely have to be this past year because the minute I heard the pop on the court, I knew it was over. I play volleyball, basketball, cheerleading, and track, and this was my senior year. Everything that I had worked for since I was young was just taken away. In the end, maybe it was a positive thing because I've been able to look at life in a different way because I've seen that I can be a leader from a bench and I can be an encourager to my teammates and to people in my school because they know what I stand for and they're like, how is this gonna affect her? When things come your way, whether it's abuse or poverty or injuries in sports, that you can get through them. When you beat the odds, it's just, it's a great feeling to be like, I'm still able to go to college and have a degree and have a life. And I think it definitely shows people that people who might seem weak are not, that they're strong on the inside and that they can overcome anything.